Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Jicho coming back with another video and welcome to Shikanshi District. That's right, in today's Minecraft with we're going to be reviewing a mod which is based on Attack on Titan Shikanshi District. As you can see right now from an aerial view itself, it looks really realistic. So yeah, if you want to see further reviews like this, or want to keep up with the channel please do a like comment and subscribe down below obviously remember i made a promise to all of you guys that i will be doing a face reveal as well as getting a tattoo at 1000 subscribers so if that's something you're interested in please do like comment and subscribe down below anyways sit back relax and enjoy the show so first and foremost this this the place looks very realistic like extremely realistic look at that yeah and let's start first by getting a closer look at the wall obviously this is wall maria the out outer wall maria right there is like the entrance gate and we can see the titan forest at the back and yeah this is exactly where the show kicks off so this is where the colossal titan first attacked the city he was over here and he broke down the wall obviously we can see how huge the title would have been it's i mean it's as big as the wall we can see some tracks over here these tracks were basically used to move cannons all around to defend the wall however there were tracks all over the wall so i guess this is a little bit incomplete but yeah they would basically shoot down any titan that was attacking attacking down so yeah Spoiler spoiler alert, alert by the way So the walls are said to be built by other colossal titans and yeah as you can see Where exactly where I'm standing right now. Let me just get some night vision to show you like um, show it to you much clearly But exactly where I'm standing would be where there would be like hundreds and thousands of colossal titans which each of them like hardened up to form the wall and that was how wall maria is built so spoiler alert for all of you who haven't seen attack on titan but yeah i would definitely recommend it so you can see over here I let's just get out yeah that's pretty much it so this is how it looks from an aerial point of view and yeah, can you see something over there? This would be our main hero's house. Yeah, we are at Eren Yeager's house and there's Eren dressed up as an elder man. But yeah, this is Eren's house. Pretty much the sand is supposed to be the basement. And yeah, this would be Eren's house. This is exactly where you know the show kicks off i don't want to reveal what's in the basement but let's see if that's yeah this would be the basement again massive spoiler alerts here but if you haven't seen attack on titan highly recommend it so let's fly out oops and yeah while we're making our way through the city if you notice each building is built differently the amount of detail that has gone to the exterior of each building is just insane so yeah let's continue with our review by the time we make it over there fun fact shiganshi is actually based off a real place in germany called notlinger I'll just get a side-by-side -side picture of both of them right now. As you can see, Shiganchi is the place on the left and Nordlinger is the place on the right and you can see the resemblance. So this is basically what the author used as inspiration to design Eren's home, which is Shiganchi district. You can, we can see the outer wall right there. It's very resemblant. So now we are approaching the building which i like to call the military headquarters so this is where like all, all military meetings would take place between the scout district the the military military police all all of these things this building is also where they store their prisoners 
we'll see more of this building in season 4 basically this is the building another spoiler alert but this is the building the Jaegerists take over and all sort of things we can see the military police right there patrolling outside and oops I'm stuck wait sorry but yeah this is how again no interior is done but this is where basically the prison would be and this would be the floor in which they hold assemblies and stuff like that so yeah again there ain't no interiors which is okay because designing these things let me see uh, no secret passages this time but yeah this is basically the place where all military le leaders would discuss this is where they fed they fed like the wine to everyone else and they made them drink Zeke's spinal fluid but yeah this building gets a much more prominent prominent feature in season 4 would highly recommend and now we make a make our way to the river yeah, so this river is basically how people used to escape the Colossal Titan as well as the Armor Titans attack on Season 1. They would board on boats, or boats like these, and then go straight past Mo Wall Maria into Wall Rosa, which is the next wall. I don't think that's been built, but yeah, they would basically go straight here. And damn, this view though. This this is an insane build. Like mad props. But yeah, now we're at the interiors of Wall Maria. This is the gate which they used which they would open up. And yeah, you can see how how big the wall is, because you can imagine. I mean for those of you who've seen the show or read the manga know exactly how big it is. But damn. Oof. Let me know down below in which which anime series would you guys like to like to be in? Like would it be Naruto or Attack on Titan? Comment down below. Oh yeah! So here we have a we have I believe this is where like they used to the training exam exams and all of these things took place. So or is this the time no this is this is where all the train training exams and stuff took place, yeah. This is this is the this is the camp where they tra where they train new recruits, and obviously we have the famous campfire where Eren, Sasha meet, rest in peace, mm -hmm. and all of them would gather around after a rough training training session, eating eating beet buns. Ah, uh, but and yes, let's continue further down. Let's see if you, if there's another wall or not. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's just wall. It's just Shikanchi and Wall Maria. So pretty much Wall Rosa would be the next wall and that would be roughly around here-ish if I'm not mistaken and yeah this basically the way they divided each other was based on rank so we had Wall Maria where the common folks, Wall Rosa where the nobles and then Wall Shisina which had all the royals and everyone else staying there so yeah once again, let's just take a look at look at on top of the wall. Oh yeah, you can see over there. You can see that they were the tracks. Yeah, I'm guessing they just didn't render on that side. But yeah, these tracks were basically used to move or move cannons around in case of an attack attack on the wall. But obviously, nobody knew Colo the colossal title uh, like even existed at that time. So. This was basically used to take on minor titans or smaller titans which weren't as big as the wall. So you can see the titan forest over there at the back. That's what they called it where basically titans would roam free. And the scouts missions were to scout out those forests and come back with supplies. Oh wait, okay, it's incomplete. Yeah, so you can see these tracks would pretty much run throughout all the way. But yeah, hmm, a hundred day survival series in this map generally wouldn't would be a fun idea. We have we have food, we have houses, we don't have any any mobs. We I mean we do have mobs, we have a lot of mobs. But yeah. We have hay bales, 
That'll be, it'll be a fun thing, it'll be a fun thing. So comment down below or leave a like if you want to see a hundred thousand if you're missing hundred thousand, sorry. <laughs> a hundred day survival challenge on this map. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please do like, comment and subscribe down below to join the Dream Party Army. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun. New reviews coming out soon. I'll catch you guys later and peace.